know anything about what is in Quran, except for you heard things here, there, bits and pieces. So that's the reason, so that we could, in a month, we could have most of it. We can't cover, obviously, the whole Quran. It is impossible. Uh, and similarly, my plan is to cover one Jews at least in half an hour. And again, this is not possible. We have to be honest with ourselves. But in that short time, because now people have to prepare themselves for the Fatur as well, whatever we could have, at least there are certain things we could in front of our eyes. It is not a bundle of myth. It is something which is very relevant and pertinent to our lives. It commands us to do certain things, which we obviously we don't know. Now look here now. وَلَن تَرْزَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَسَارَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ قُلْ إِنَّ هُدَى اللَّهُ وَالْهُدَى وَعَلِنِ اتَّبَعْتَ هَوَاهُمْ بَعْدَ الَّذِي جَاكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ مَا لَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَالِيًا وَلَا نَسِيرٍ I will not go into the exegesis or much of explanation. I will just translate. <coughs> but you would enjoy it. And the Jews and the Christians would never approve or agree with you till you follow their religion under bracket what is religion religion is a way of life is a code of conduct that's the reason we say islam is a way of life islam is a code of conduct islam tells us everything how to marry how to select a spouse how to relate to the parents how to behave with the brothers and sisters and blood relatives how to behave with the non-muslims how to behave with the people in the society or the neighbors how to behave with the people when with the workplace where we do in other words it gives the detailed information of everything that's the reason we say islam is a code of conduct it tells us about inheritance and the rest of it now look here what does Quran says. Quran says that the Jews and the Christians would never agree with you. They will never be happy with you unless you follow their religion. Millah. Milla means nations, community, and also it means religion. So they will no, never f uh, agree unless you follow their religion under bracket, way of life. The way they live the way they live. You would be surprised. These uh, words you have heard in the past. That's the beauty when you read it. Huh? What is that? I've heard these words before, you know. And you would be surprised when I'm going to read it. Surah Taha. Did you, you understood this from Surah Baqarah? The last Jews, Awwal, the last part. Look at Surah <coughs> Qalu. They said, Inna hazane la sahirane. These are the two magicians, two sorcerers. Yuridane, they both want, they both intend. Ayyukhrajakum, min arzakum, so that they could get you or throw you out from their land. Besehrema, by their sorcery and by their magic. These are the two. Who are those two? Musa and Harun a.s. This Firaun is telling that these, you know, these two people, they want to throw you out of your land, man by sorcery. They can't throw because there were no power, no army, no nothing. But they want to throw you out from your plan. Look at the beauty. This word, which I'm going to say, read it now, you have heard it. Just a little bit more emphasis on your memory. وَيَزْهَبَا بِتَرِيقَتِكَمُ الْمُسْلَى وَيَزْهَبَا بِتَرِيقَتِكَمُ الْمُسْلَى And they will take care of you, your exemplary lifestyle. These Muslims hate our lifestyle. Have you heard this statement before? These Muslims, I'm not telling, look, this is just simply the people who know Arabic, they could translate it. وَيَزْهَبَ بِتَرِيقَةَ Tariqa, you know Tariqa, the way, the customs, the norms, the traditions, a style, lifestyle. بِتَرِيقَةَ Your lifestyle, Kamul Musla, most exemplary. You see, they hate the most exemplary lifestyle. This is not the first time we have heard this. Even Firaun said about Musa and Harun that they want to, these two, by their magic, they want to throw you out of this land uh, by their sorcery. And also, they want to get your exemplary lifestyle, which they have. They don't like it, so they want to throw you out of the land. Did you hear that now? So when you read it, you try to understand, oh my God, these are the words from there. 
And remember that day, be cautious, beware of that day when no person will be able to avail any other person. adlun. No ransom or equivalent will be taken from him. And the intercession will not benefit. And neither there will be help. Quite a few points here. But remember that it reminds us that no point in banking upon my uncle who is a big sheikh and banking upon that person who is very buzurg or banking on father or this molisab, that molisab, I have good, good relationship. I've seen many people that they bank upon these big sheikh. You know, I've got very strong relationship with what do you say? He's trying to tell me that I've got very, I know this person and I know that sheikh much more than him. He's very close to him, but he doesn't understand, he doesn't know. But he's talking about his relationship to that sheikh of this, it will be of no good. It will be simply no good at all. Neither that sheikh will do intercession on his behalf, no nothing. So we have to understand when, when we know this, that you know, means we will not be able to get rid of our neck from the hell, either by giving equivalent, by giving ransom, whatever, or we cannot show our relationship with others, it is just simply no good. Ibrahim Rabbahu. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his Lord, when tested or put through the trial, the Ibrahim alayhi salam, be kalamatin. Kalamat means words, a statement. Kalamat also means here commands, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded. Be kalamatin, whatever he commanded, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim alayhi salam, do this, do this, do this. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told, go against your father and tell him. That he is just simply making the idols with his own hands and he is worshipping those idols. Go and tell him on his face. So Ibrahim al -Salam went, told on his face. Ibrahim al -Salam told others as well about these stars, these moon, these kamar, the Quran gives detail. Nothing. Means nothing. And therefore he took the enmity of not only father of the whole tribe and the whole community and the whole society. Not only that, to that extent that when they went on the festival day out, he pretended that he is not feeling weak, well really. And then he went and broke every idol except the big one. And he took the axe and put on the feet of the big one. Pretending under bracket this one has broken. So they came and found. Who could be, have done it? They say, well, they, you call Allahu Ibrahim. There is a person who talks something funny, you know. You call Allahu Ibrahim. He is called Ibrahim. Ask him to come. The Ibrahim al Islam came. I said, well, okay. Have you done it? And then they say, well, ask the big one. He told, what do you mean by ask the big one? The big one can talk, cannot talk, man. He told, if he cannot talk, he, he is not the, the one who has done it and broken the other as well. So why on earth do you worship him? What is worth? And then after that, they realize, yes, you are right. So Quran, the way it, it draws the, 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 the whole scenario, they realized. When Ibrahim al Islam said, they realized. And then he, they went out. Then they came back. No, 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 just a minute. So you are the one after all you have done it, haven't you? You are after our God. Look, in between, he was, they were taken aback when Ibrahim al -Islam tried to remind them. So it gives the full de uh, description. Ibrahim al -Islam, when I hear the khutbah of Eidul, uh, what do you call, the, the Eidul Azha, I feel surprised. We talk everything except highlighting the sacrifices given by Ibrahim al -Islam. The maximum trial was for Rasulullah He was put through the maximum trial. The next is Ibrahim al -Islam, his father. I mean, can you believe a wife and the baby born at age 90 and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to go on and just simply put them in a mountain, valley. No tree, no plantation, no water, no nothing. Just go and put them. Huh? In the desert, without any wawadi ghair zi zarain, without any plantation, the valley without any plantation, any vegetation. Go put the wife on the small kid, a small joke. I mean, when I sometimes think, how come? How come Ibrahim al-Islam prepare himself by BV and, and one small kid live in the desert? Wait, not yet finished. And then it carries on and then after that, okay, so he's now, he's the age of saya. He's the age of running around with his father. He's becoming the stick and the support and the help of his Ibrahim father who is an old man. Now he's told, okay, go and do the zabiya. What next, man? Even if he saw in the dream a man 
what sort of he would think how come Allah will ask him to kill his own son can't be he will have hundred and one question about it and lo and behold he goes on the son and then he says well okay if al matumar get on with it whatever you have been told who says that is my Islam a small kid he told his father Ibrahim al Islam asked his father what do you think son this is what I saw in the dream and he says if al matumar get on with it whatever you have been commanded and he, then after that from the forehead so that he could not see from the forehead down and then after that he puts a starts the knife on them Ibrahim al -Islam, uh, was called out by Allah and sent out a sort of uh, another animal so I mean the, 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 the trial and tribulations of Ibrahim al -Islam was put through my God no wonder his name is still the doomsday and a big name even you do Hajj or you do this or you do that many things are on Ibrahim al -Islam, even circumcision and the rest so many things are on him so we should try to remember that that Allah SWT raises someone's name because he has passed in the trial and tribulations and similarly if he has been put through he said okay I'm going to make you the leader of the people then he asked what about my children he told no 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 not your children all children you see them now Qala la yanalu ahdi zalimeen Allah SWT says my promise is not for the people who are wrongdoers or who are unjust my promise is only to the people who are just so if he, among your progeny, progeny and your children if they are just as fine if they will be the leaders so in other words if you want to become leader again on this earth we have to follow the footsteps of Ibrahim salam. if you are not leader dunya doesn't the world doesn't want to listen to us there is something wrong with our iman and then Ibrahim salam does dua which we should do dua as well I mean obviously there will be no prophet he has <laughs> done dua for a prophet Rabbana wabas fihim rasulam minhum O our Lord send a messenger a prophet among them Yatlu alayhim ayataka he recites unto them his signs his revelations this book Wa'allamuhumul kitab he teaches them this Quran this book Wal hikmah and the books and the book of wisdom under bracket Sunnah or ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Wayuzakkihim and he purifies them Inna ka anta Azizul Hakim, you are the Almighty and the most wise. He did dua. On his dua, Muhammad Sallallahu was sent. He did dua among my progeny, minus. So we have to do similarly dua. Obviously, no prophet is going to come, but we could do dua the rest. Short of prophet, we could do Allah bless our children, our off offspring, that they could be Imam and the leader of their community, of their tribe, and of their society. They could be blessed. Now here, look the quality of Ibrahim al Islam. Allah SWT says, Is qala lahu rabbahu aslim. When his Lord said to him, Aslim, submit and surrender. Qala aslam to le rabbil alameen. No questions asked. Ibrahim al Islam said, I surrender and submit to the will and to the command of my Lord. You see them? He's, Allah says, surrender and submit. He says, I did surrender and submit that should be our way so this Quran if we know it when the Imam Sahib recites then we will have sometimes shivering sometimes we will have happiness and pleasure and a smile on our face when it talks about Jannah then we will also do dua in our heart oh Allah bless me with Jannah Jannah so nice Imam Sahib is reciting in the Quran in the Taraweeh so oh Allah at the same time you in your heart you pray and if it talks about Jahannam, then our face should reflect that we are scared. We have got shivering. That's what used to happen to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Rasulullah is praying and if you want to pass by, then he says, suddenly Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is smiling. What is he smiling about? He is smiling about the Jannah. And he is crying about his Qawm, his Ummah, his Millah. The people who are his followers, his Ummah, that they are not in good shape. So he is, and obviously, Jahannam is out of business for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Does not come into equation, consideration. So why his face? is distressed because his millah, his ummah is not in good shape. So he's very distressed, very grieved about it. Now look, you're all in age group 
what you have to remember. وَوَصَّ بِهَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ And Ibrahim al-Islam enjoined upon his children وَيَعْقُوب And Yaqub al-Islam too يَا بَنِيَ O my children إِنَّ اللَّهَ اسْتَفَى لَكُمُ الدِّينَ Certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen religion Your religion, your deen for you He has already chosen فَلَا تَمُتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُ مُسْلِمُونَ Therefore you should not die unless you are Muslim In other words you should die as a Muslim. Am kuntum shahada is Hazra Yaqub al Maat. Where are you prison? Allah SWT is asking. Look, these ayah are recited in front with our Imam. So we have got no clue. But I am asking you now. Quran is asking us. Am kuntum shahada. He is not asking Musa al Islam Ibrahim al Islam. He is asking us, man. Am kuntum shahada. Where are you present? When? Is, a, as, is Hazrat Yaqub al Maut when the death came to Yaqub al Salam? Where are you present? He's asking. Allah SWT is asking us. Is Qala Lebani when he told his children to who? Yaqub al Salam told his children, Ma ta baduna mimbadi, whom you are going to worship? What you are going to worship? After me. They said, we will worship your, your, the, your Lord and the Lord of your father, Ibrahim, why Ismail, why Ishaq, Allah and Wahidan, only one Lord, one God, and to him we surrender. Did you see? You know, when a person is dying, he is most truthful at that time. Even in this world, even in the non-Muslim society, if a person who is dying at the time of his death, whatever he says is given a lot of respect, got of weight. At the time of death, someone says, is, it carries a lot of weight. Even the person with regard to the crime and all that scene, if a person who is dying, if he says something, who hit him, who killed him, who was what, the, the police gives a lot of respect. A dying person uh, sort of uh, a statement. It g carries a lot of weight. Here, Yaqub al is dying. And at the uh, Am Kuntum Shahada is Hazra Yaqub al Maut, where you present? So, what did he say? Iskal al Ebani, Mata, Buduna Mimbadi. Who, what are you going to worship after my death? What he is worried about? Not that when I am dying, so you know, this one house, son, uh, that one house, and that one you should inherit, and this one you should do. No, 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 just a minute. Look, Yaqub al Islam, what he is talking about, what he is distressed about, what he is grieved about is, I do not know what my children are going to do whom they are going to worship and what way they are going to lead their life. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So similarly, we should ask ourselves question. Now, before we are dying, that am I in this position? That am I telling my children these questions? In other words, are we leading the life of a believer? What about my life in, the, in my house? Do we conduct our life according to the Islamic command? Do we stop when he asks us to command or do we carry on when he tells us to carry on? Do we commit our lifestyle as it says to be good to the old parents, good to the elders, kind and generous to the old people and sympathetic to these young children and respectful to all uncles, aunties, having a good relationship, having showing a mercy. We have got six feet tongue, big tongue. And we say, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, MashaAllah was mercy to mankind. I am mercy not to my wife, not to my children, not to my relatives, not to my uh, friends. I am mercy to no one. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mercy to mankind. What the heck, man? What, what, what's going wrong? But you are mercy to no one. I work in the hospital to my colleague, I am not mercy. But why on earth do you shout that Rasulullah is mercy to mankind? Inna arsallah ka rahmatul lil alameen. He was mercy, no condition. Or what sort of a follower we are? That we are mercy to no one. You see that now? And in Ramadan verse, we become very agitated, very irritable, very anger, angry. God knows better what happens. But Ramadan or no Ramadan, we should show that. So this ayah, remember, I always quote, and is one of the most beloved ayah for me, that when I imagine that I am dying, what I am telling my children, go and sell this house, buy that house, distribute, inherit, varasa, or I, to, or I talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the last words, man. So why not we try to fix up from now, 
that we don't have to do at the, that time. You know, we have got a wrong concept of our deen. We think Allah SWT is going to ask about what? About our age, about our life, our time, our money, that's all. Oh, come on. Look here what Quran says. Who is more unjust than a person who hides whatever has come from Allah SWT? And he should not think that Allah is unaware or, un or unmindful that he does not know. What does it mean? What the, what the Jews used to do upon Israel, they used to hide their book. They used to keep inside their temple. And if you came, he will go, so just one minute. What is the fatwa about this? Hey, just one minute. He will go inside, he will read whatever. And then he will come say, that's what Torah says. But now it is all evident for everyone. You've got so many. Everyone could keep in their house, so it doesn't depend on a religious priest, number one. Number two is they used to hide the fact what is in, what is in their Torah. So if we hide, in other words, we don't take it to non-Muslims, we are doing katmane haq, we are hiding the truth. So if I don't take this to the non-Muslim, this is my job, to take it to the non-Muslim. If I don't take it to the non-Muslim, I am doing katmane haq. Katmane in Arabic word means to conceal. I am hiding it. The truth is there, but I am hiding it. I'm, there is no prophet who is going to come. And yet, so whose job is the prophet job? Ours. We have to do that job. But we are hiding it. We are not taking it to the non-Muslim. Well, be aware that Allah SWT is going to ask question about it. We gave you the truth, book of truth. What did you do with it? Does it make sense? It will not be asked only from Muli Sahar. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ Sorry. سَيَقُولُ الصَّفَحَاءُ مِنَ النَّاسِ مَا وَاللَّهُ مَنْ قِبْلَتِهِمْ أَلَّتِي كَانُوا وَلَيْهَا قُلْ لِلْ Safi in Arabic means stupid, fools, idiots, unaware, beqoof, ahmaq. Sayyukulu sofaha. The stupid or the fools will say, Mina nas among the people, Mawallahu man qiblati, what has turned them away from their qibla? Allah tikanu alaha on which they wear. Kulli lahi al mashraq wal maghrib. Say for Allah belongs the east and the west. Yahdi man yasha Allah sarati mustaqim. He guides whoever he wishes to their straight path. This is about because uh, in, in the second hijri in Medina, the qibla was changed, wasn't it? Till Mi'raj. The uh, Muslims, they used to uh, pray making Kaaba as Qibla. For a Miraj when Rasulullah came, for around about 17-18 months, till the second Hijri, when he migrated to Medina and Medina, second Hijri, he used to pray facing towards the battle mark this. But Rasulullah wanted that Kaaba should be made the Qibla, uh, and therefore, at the end, Rasulullah uh, received the, the inspiration, the divine inspiration, the ayah from Quran. Uh, and then Allah SWT mentioned that Allah knows and sees your eyes turning towards the sky. These are the words, I'm just translating it. Sees your eyes turning towards the sky. So now Allah SWT has changed your Qibla, Qibla was changed. When Qibla was changed, these, these Bani Israel and the Jews, they start creating trouble. Look, look, look. What sort of Allah is this? He, he cannot make up his mind. Sometimes face this for Qibla, sometimes face that Qibla. He cannot make up his mind. <laughs> Sharir, Badmash, naughty people. So he's telling about Allah. So Allah SWT says, look, look. Mashriq or Maghrib, East, West, North, South, everything belongs to Allah. Don't worry about it. But Allah SWT has made that Qibla because now Allah SWT has taken from you the leadership and the Khilafah and given to, to Muhammad SAW and to his Ummah. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطَىٰ لَتَكُونُ شُهَدَىٰ لَلنَّاسِ And thus, this is the way we have made you Ummah Tawasatah. Remember this statement is very important. You know, for example, uh, you, you see one Sajjada, keep, keep in your mind Sajjada. And in the middle, if you be, that's our position. So we are, we are middle of the road. We are not on extremes. We are not the people extremist. Ummate wasata, wasata everyone knows, beach. Beach ka darmiani ra, middle. So umma, you are the mid, umma of the middle road. That means you are not on the right extreme, not on the left extreme. Remember that statement. Number two, 
whoever is on the extreme, they are not right. Remember that statement. They are always reactionary. When you are on one extreme or the other, you are reactionary. You are a re or reactionary people can never be on justice. They will be always swerve away from one to another side. Reactionary people cannot be just. Remember, they will always swerve away from justice. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shuhada ala nas, that we bear witness to the people. Wa yukuna rasulu alaykum shahida, and the messenger will become witness to you. Now I give you an example and I will finish here because you have to go and prepare yourself as well. On the day of resurrection, Rasulullah sallallahu have three types of witness. Remember, shahada, shaheed. We only know shaheed means someone who gives the life in the, in, in the way of Allah. But actually shaheed means the one who bears witness. There are three types of shahada Rasulullah sallallahu will give. We will give two types of shahada. Now one type of shahada is by call, by tongue. Now by tongue, by pen, by internet, by everything, all the means of communication in, is included now, which is in place of tongue. Previously only we used to use tongue, then the qalam and then now the internet and all the other communication skills or tools it involves in one. This is bilqal. So shahada bilqal. What is shahada bilqal? Shahada bilqal means we bear witness that Allah is one and alone and whatever he has commanded, he has commanded for the good of the human being and we follow samena wa atana. Whatever he has told us not to do, we will not do. He has sent the book, we will follow it in letter and spirit, both, not only in letter, in spirit as well. So that's what we say. This is called Amal by our deeds, our actions, our lifestyle, we will prove that we are a Muslim. Whatever the quality of a Muslim, a Muslim is supposed to be honest, I am honest, I will try to be honest. Muslim does not lie, uh, we will not lie. Look. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa asked, can a Muslim drink alcohol? Rasulullah said yes. He was asked, can a Muslim uh, do zana, adultery? He told yes. Then Rasulullah sallallahu asked, can a Muslim uh, speak lies to Allah? That cannot do. I mean, look at that. Am I recognized in the whole world? Muslims, are they recognized as the people who are honest? There used to be a time when we used to be recognized, not anymore. We are supposed to be the biggest liar. There is something wrong with us. We pray and yes, we lie. So, the world should know us that we are honest, we are sincere, we are tolerant, we show forbearance, we have got a forgiving attitude, we are a reliable person, we are a dependable person. This person's tongue is absolutely solid. Whatever he says, it, it will happen. He's, he does not use uh, in vain talks. He does not use uh, loose utterances. His, his uh, tongue is very clean. He, does, he is not involved in rumor mongering, in slander, in backbiting. In other words, you could rely on that person. Does the world know us as less? No. There is something wrong then with our Ramadan and our Salah. That it does not make us that person which made Sahaba Karam of that sort of a... <coughs> character. So we have to give shahada. If I am a Muslim, I have to give shahada. I have to bear witness by my call, by my tongue, by my statement and also by my action. That the world should know this person, everyone is safe from his hand, from his tongue and he is reliable, he is a dependable person, he has got all the qualities of a, of a believer. I think I should stop here uh, because I could not finish, because I cannot just simply translate a uh, few lines. So I should finish. Where are you? Abdul Rahman? Finish? Yeah? I do not know what time is this. Uh, okay, I take five more minutes. I take five more minutes, that's all. So that I could finish my Fala Vakshoni. Do not fear them, the enemies, fear me. Allah SWT is telling. A believer only fears from Allah SWT. We are, we are told that khawf ka but tur dana chahiye. And that's what it's supposed to be, but it doesn't. So that means there is something wrong with us. We are fearful of everyone. The America, this, that, and the other. But we are not fearful of Allah SWT. We should not have any fear from anyone. Nothing happens unless he, Allah SWT wishes so. 
Then he says, Faskuruni waskurkum. So remember me, I will remember you. What better than that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember us. So I should remember him. Waskuruni, and you should be grateful to him. Wala takfuruni, don't show ungratefulness, unthankfulness. So we have to remember that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, we should be grateful and thankful. This is Quran which says, just translation. Then he says, Ya yuhal lazina amun usta'inu bi sabr wa salah inna Allah maha sabrin. You know, when I hear the news that some Muslim has committed suicide. I feel very sad and sorry. That means his, this person's parents have not taught him well. A Muslim should, should never commit suicide. He should know it. That, you know, means the Almighty whom we worship, the one whom we call God, he could, his situation is innama amrahu azara da shayana yakula lahu kun fayakun. He, for him, nothing. When he intends to do anything, he says it be and it becomes. See that now? So, where is that uh, hopelessness or despondence comes for a Muslim to commit suicide? Whatever the bad situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will make it fine. So, a Muslim cannot, under no circumstances, could commit suicide. He is not sane, he has become insane, he has become mad because a believer always has got faith in him. For him nothing, whatever he wants to say, if he wants to solve your problem. So in Nama Amr, who has another shine, whenever he wants to, intends to do uh, about, or decide about any affair, he says, Kun faya kun, but that's it, it becomes. So I, I am that lucky that I pray to that God. So that you have to remember. So what we have to do then? We have to seek the help of Allah by showing endurance and persistence and perseverance and patience and by praying. These are the two things will sort me out, sort my problems. And then, uh, I will finish this, the last one. Allah subhanahu wa You know, I remember my young days when I used to have one and a half rupees uh, per yard. Those days, no meter business. Per yard, cloth. And I used to uh, do like this. Uh, just touch it and see how nice and uh, where uh, buttery it is, uh, slippery it is, how smooth it is. Uh, if it is eight anna per yard, uh, no good, it's rough cloth. Now we spend, for example, buy a car, uh, a small car, no good car, it's used car, a small car. Okay, so 3,000 pounds I have to give. I won't go that much into detail. I have to give 30,000 pounds. I have to go into detail a bit, you know. And if I have to buy 300,000 car, I will go quite a lot. This house, no litigation, house is okay. I will hire a solicitor and all sorts of things. Yes or no? But what do we want? We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give eternal Jannah for free. Take it. It's all yours. Ha! You man, on this earth, if you spend more money, you have to test it. You have to find it out. You have to investigate, am I spending the money all right or not? It's too much of money I'm spending, do you see that now? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should give us Jannah nevertheless for free. Ha! No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَنَّا بِلَوَنَّكُمْ We will definitely, we shall put you through the trial and tribulations. بِشَيْمْ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ From the fear. وَالْجُوْ From the hunger. وَنَخْسِمْ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ From the loss of the property and the wealth. وَالْأَنْفَسْ A loss of your lives. وَالْسَمَرَاتِ A loss of the yield and the grain and the corpse. وَبَشَّرِ سَابْرِينَ Now go ahead and give glad tidings to the people who deserve it. Who kept patience. With all this, so in other words, these are in the way of a believer. Goes through difficult times, hardships. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to test the person, wants to shake in Surah Baqarah. Later on it will come uh, that uh, the people are shaken to the hilt till and uh, the Prophet and his followers, they call out, Mata Nasrullah. Then the news comes, Allah Nasrullah Qareeb. Just beware, Allah help is just coming. But before that, even the Prophet becomes very uh, sort of concerned when the uh, help of Allah will come. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the insight uh, 
in understanding the Quran because the, the Ramadan month is the month of Quran. Ramadan is Ramadan because of Quran. Remember that statement. Otherwise it is like any other month. Remember that statement. Ramadan is Ramadan because of Quran. Because Quran was revealed in this month. That's the reason, subhanAllah. Allah SWT says Ramadan is for me. The rest of the time, 10 times, 7 times, 70 times, 700 times your reward. But Ramadan is for me. So we should try to get maximum out of it by coming closer to Quran. May Allah SWT give us enough tawfiq and muhla so that we could get the maximum benefit out of Ramadan. May Allah SWT bless our homes with peace of Ramadan. May Allah SWT gives us the reward for whatever we do. Make our hearts clean and whatever rancor, malice, hatred, enmity we have in our hearts, may Allah SWT wash it out and remove it. May Allah SWT bless us with mercy and forgiveness and extricate our neck from the hellfire. Yeah.